I'm Bill Monroe. On Monday, the Commission on Appellate Court Appointments Board interviewed applicants to fill a vacancy on Division One on the Arizona Court of Appeals, and it was announced Yavapai County Superior Court Judge Kenton Jones was one of three finalists for the position. Tuesday was primary election day in Prescott, and voters returned Mayor Marlon Kirkendall to office. Kirkendall was elected to a second term after capturing 6,557 votes. Councilwoman Marianne Suttles received 4,113, and challenger Deb Thurston received 1,486. In the council race, three members were elected outright as well. Chris Cugnio got the highest number of votes with 7,535, followed by incumbent Jim Laverson with 7,426, and Charlie Arnold with 6,677. Challenger Ellen Dubiel received 5,084 votes, and former councilman and riding candidate Bob Lucius received 1,755. The Prescott Unified School District Board held a special meeting Thursday afternoon. Superintendent David Smucker suggested a blanket purchase order be issued to the Education Technology Consortium not to exceed $15,000 for services to be performed regarding the district's computer system. On Tuesday, the Prescott City Council approved current city manager Craig McConnell as a permanent city manager. McConnell was one of four internal applicants for the position, but he and purchasing manager Don Foster were the only two determined to be qualified. Councilwoman Marianne Suttles, who wanted to see an external search, voted against the appointment. Councilwoman Laura Lopez, who applied but was disqualified, was absent from the meeting. Video surfaced on YouTube of a man being tased outside the Golden Corral restaurant at Frontier Village. The incident occurred on Friday, August 26th, and involved Robert Denoyles III. Denoyles, who was reportedly coming in and out of the restaurant asking for money and free food, was tased by a Yavapai Prescott tribal police officer after he ignored commands to turn around. He was tased a second time while on the sidewalk after he failed to place his arms out to his side. A man inside the restaurant recorded the incident. And District 1 Congressman Paul Gosar held a town hall meeting at Glasser Hill Middle School in Prescott Valley Thursday night. About 50 people attended the meeting, which included questions on the Fast and Furious operation, immigration, job creation, and the federal budget. I'm Bill Monroe, and that's your KQ&A News Week in Review.